Good morning, guys. Guess what? It is time to cook. And today I've got a multitude of vegetables in front of me. A lot of them are from my garden. A couple I had to run to the store for, but my goal is to not have to do that this summer. My goal when I plant a garden is to use everything fresh out of it. And I love to do that. To me, it just tastes fresher. I know what it's grown from. It doesn't have any of the pesticides, any of those things that, you know, you always have to wash your vegetables when you get them from the store. And I think the only thing here that I did buy was the mushrooms here um, because, you know, I don't grow mushrooms. And I did buy the broccoli. Even though I grew broccoli this year, uh, they were really small heads like this. So I really, it was my first year growing it, so I hadn't really done all, um, I didn't really get all that much out of it. But um, I'm excited. If you know um, Italian, primavera means spring. And we're in the heart of spring. Actually, in a few days, it's gonna be summer already. So I said, you know what? Let's make a nice spring dish. So it's basically vegetables and a pasta, and that's it. So um, I wanted to get ready and show you. We do have this on our menu at Amici's, and we use whatever vegetables we have available, so sometimes it's always different. But today I took whatever I had in my refrigerator, and we're just gonna throw in a pan and toss it up with some great pasta. So of course, over here, I have um, you know a pot of water gone. I'm gonna throw a little salt in it here, just because you know this doesn't have really a sauce to it. It's basically um, olive oil, maybe a tiny, tiny bit of butter, white wine, but that's it as far as the um, sauce goes. So I'm putting a little bit of salted uh, salt in there to make my water that way. And today I, I wanted to go with um, the little spiral pasta. And I went with the tri-color even just to make it more colorful. So some people don't like these, but I'll show you what they look like. There's like the yellow and the orange and the green in them. Let me see who I can see. I see Tracy and Janice, Janice. Oh, how are you guys? I just love that you guys watch me. I love it. It's very exciting. I hope you guys are having a great day. Okay, the pasta going in the pot. There you go. And I like to save a little bit of my pasta sometimes. And I put it all together. And sometimes I just make like a different type of dish with it. And I don't want there to be such an overpowering amount of pasta in this. I want this to be all about the veggies. That's going to cook. And it's going to get soft. And in this pot, what would you like today, Pepe? We have so many vegetables for you. What could you possibly want? How about a little cherry tomato? Here, Pepe. All right. That ought to keep him happy for two minutes. Okay. Speaking of cherry tomatoes, look at this basket of tomatoes. This is like maybe my fourth or fifth one. You know, I'm juggling tons of tomatoes like this from the garden. Um, I've gotten zucchini already, tons of cucumbers, um, old carrots that I had pulled out in the beginning of spring. Um, this was my latest of green bean picks this morning when I went my walk through. Um, I did not do the purple onion, but I did do shallots and garlic this year, so I'm really excited about that. Um, what would you like? Because you can't keep nibbling on me. Here, let's send you over that way. Go chase the tomato. Go get it. All right, so we're gonna get going because like I said, you know, we wanna put all this together. Um, do you remember what I made? I don't know if I showed you these. I made these. This is olive oil with all the herbs from my garden. And I chopped them up and I put them in one teaspoon increments in here. And now this is a good way. You just take them out and you just put them in the pan that you're gonna use. So this is basil in here. And now when this just sauteed down, you already have flavored olive oil. So it's just great. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I have four, about four tablespoons in here, which we really need a half a cup, but I'm, this is all I'm gonna do. And these just simply go back in the refrigerator. If they start to melt, you just put, put them back in and they'll refreeze all over again. And you can use these all summer. It's a great um, little thing to do with all the abundance of herbs that you have. But we're also gonna put in fresh herbs. Okay. So now I've got this going. It's melting down in the pan. I already see my basil that's infused in it. Pepe, the tomato is right there. Here. See, there you go. I don't think pigs have the greatest eyesight because something could be right in front of him. He just doesn't see it. 
Okay, so I have this going, but I'm also going to add a little bit more. So this is going to be a fourth of a cup all together. And then I'm looking at hummingbirds on a feeder. I mean, I've got everything going on over here. Okay, so first things first, we have all of our clean vegetables. And we're going to put them in. To me, I'm going to put them in as, uh, according to how long they take to cook. And I'm thinking that the carrots and the onion are going to take the longest. So I'm just going to take two carrots here, put the other two away. And I don't like to peel mine. They are washed, but I don't like to peel mine because all the vitamins are in the skin and I actually I actually like the flavor of the, of the skin of it. And we're just going to chop these down into, you want everything to be a bite-sized piece now. Because remember, we're going to put it on the fork and put it in our mouth. Go. All right, so we've got our carrot going. And those are probably going to take the longest. And now I have a purple onion that I cut in half this way. So if you see it, a lot of people get confused with cutting onions because they're like, well, I want it diced, but we want this sliced, not diced. So you go from head to toe. I chop the toe off. And now it leaves it like this, and we're gonna cut down this way. So you have these really pretty slices of purple onion. Get your fingers out of the way, knuckles out, and we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna use that. I can't give that to him because you know, he can't eat onion. And we're gonna put these in, and all these colors together are just gonna be so, so pretty. I'm just really excited about it. Okay, so let's see. The next thing we have is a yellow pepper. Last year, I could only grow like green peppers, but then I said, you know what? I'm going all out this year. And here, Pepe. And I'm going to grow yellow and orange and red. So I bought every seed I could and I grew them and they just came out fantastic. And also with the pepper, I don't know if you know this, but on the bottom, you can tell if they're male or female. And the females are a little bit more flavorful. They have less seeds in them but they're more flavorable. So um, the four on the bottom is the woman, or the female, and the three on the bottom is a male plant. You know, just a little tidbit of information. Okay, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna cut this off. I have um, some more um, peppers on my vine. I have a lot of them, actually. I haven't, uh, this is the first one I picked. Into the pool he goes. We're gonna take out the seeds. Here, Pep, here's some carrot ends. That's what's great about having him. He eats all of my scraps. Okay, the pepper we're gonna also do in tiny strips like this. Because you want everything to cook the same. So you can't be throwing big stuff in there. Look how pretty this pot is already. Now I will tell you the tomatoes are gonna be the last thing that we're gonna throw in here because they're just gonna cook real fast and pop open. Okay, we're putting the yellow pepper in. I'm gonna stir a little bit. Mmm, it smells really great because they already had the infused oil in there. I'm stirring my pasta. It's swimming beautiful. You're going crazy in here today, pet, huh? Okay, next thing I'm gonna put in is my zucchini. I'm gonna use half of it. And that's the good thing about this dish is because you don't have to use all of your vegetables at one time. You only have to use half. Let's see if Peppy likes zucchini. Here, Pep. I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna slice it in half also again, because I don't want big, big, big um, round circles in my mouth. I just want little pieces, knuckles out. There we go, and we're gonna throw them in the pot. This is a great dish, guys, for summer. Whatever leftover vegetables you have, you can just throw right in this pan, add some pasta, and it's all done. I How flavorful this smells is truly the oil that I have froze. It, I smell basil in here so much, it's beautiful. I just, I love it. Okay, I am gonna add just a little teaspoon of garlic here. Um, I did not have, I did grow fresh garlic, but it's not ready yet. You know, you have to let that like kind of um, hang for a while and dry out and then it's ready. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful in this pot. I did also pick green beans today. Um, I guess I could put them in. I mean, it'd be something different. I mean, um, um, we could try it. We're just going to maybe cut them in half because they're 
a little bit longer than the fork. I'm willing to try any vegetables. I'm a vegetable lover. Okay, in the pot they go. I mean, let's just make it healthy as possible. Okay, now we gotta get this broccoli in here because this broccoli is gonna take a little time. I'm gonna pull off a couple of these um, stems here from it. Okay, it's probably enough. See, you're gonna have enough still for other things to do. This isn't gonna take all of your, here, you want a broccoli bottom? Let's see if you like that. Um, I like to chop mine off. I like to take the, the stalks off. I mean, they're not the best in here. Is he eating it? He's eating it. Not too much he doesn't eat. And it's nice because it I don't have to waste all these beautiful bottoms. There you go, Pep. Okay. And you know what? It's your dish to make. If you don't like broccoli, don't put it in. If you don't like peppers, don't put them in. You don't have to put anything in that you, you don't like. That's the good thing about this dish. It's all vegetables. I do have a couple mushrooms here. Um, I'm going to slice those up and put them in. These are just um, baby um, portobellas. And I like mushrooms. Delish. I washed them with a damp little cloth that you put in. Into the pool they go. Now, if you wanted to add a protein to this, you could. If you wanted to um, do some shrimp, you would do that beforehand and take it out and then do your veggies. If you wanted to do chicken, the same thing. You cut up, dice the chicken, cook that up, and then, oops, get back in the pool, guys. Um, and then you could just cut that up. All right, I see this swimming around. Let me just, I don't think this is quite ready yet. I try to time it so that it would be, I have a hard time getting one out here. Almost. All right. A couple more things. Cherry tomatoes. I have an abundance of cherry tomatoes right now. I've been bringing them to the restaurant because I just don't know what else to do with them. But I have um, to show you what I did make this week. Here's a jar of cherry tomatoes that I put some fresh basil in and I canned these. And then I made a whole bunch of like tomatoes to make spaghetti sauce later. You can make tomato soup with it. Um, let me see if I could see some people. I see Kathy and I see Patricia. I see my cousin Donnie. I hope you're doing good. Um, I see Teresa. You guys are so great um, encouraging me on and everything. I just appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope that you're enjoying the recipes. I hope that you know you've been making some of them. People send me pictures all the time in Messenger of um, what they've made and I love it. Everybody's such a good cook. It's beautiful. I want to show you how good this looks because it's just a beautiful, beautiful abundance of um, veggies. Okay, cut here. Let me cut up a couple. He's in he ho hog heaven today. Vegetables are his thing. There you go. He still didn't find the tomato I put over there from before. All right, guys, I have a little flavor in mind, so um, I'm going to put a little bit of Chardonnay around the bottom just to kind of deglaze the pan. Why not? It wasn't that much. And this is going to give it a lot, a lot of flavor. And we are also going to salt and pepper it. So we're going to put in a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And then the last thing, here, Pepe, here, Pepe. The last thing I have for you is fresh herbs. Even though we started it out with basil, we like to finish it with some fresh herbs. Hi, Linda. Abby. Hello, my love. I'm going to bring some of this to work later for you, okay? Because she's my vegetable girl. She loves all the stuff that her mama makes. She loves her veggies. I'm getting ready to bring her some tomatoes and stuff from the garden, so. All right, we're chopping up the basil here. Doesn't have to be small diced pieces because basil even on its own, if you eat it, it's just delicious. And now this is like one of my favorite herbs that is so, hi Linda, I hope you're feeling better. It's good to see you. Oh, thank you. And I see, oh, I see everybody. Oh my goodness. 
You the best. I am the best, Babs, because I love you. You're a hard worker for mama. Okay, this is tarragon. A lot of people don't hear of tarragon, and sometimes they want to use it with um, chicken all the time, and it pairs out really well with chicken because it has a very light, I want to say licorice, but I know that's like a scary word for people because they're like, I don't like licorice. Mmm, it smells good. I'm gonna add it in here because I happen to like it. If you don't like it, don't put it in. You could put fresh parsley, you could put oregano, you could put thyme, you could put any of those things. I'm taking them off of the vine here and I'm just gonna give them a quick little chop. And this is also gonna add another little burst of flavor, which I love. There we go. Here, Pat. His nose is going crazy. I've been reading so much about like pigs and stuff, and I've just been reading, um, you know, their characteristics and stuff. I did not know that he could smell seven miles away. I did not know that he could smell three feet deep in the ground either. So, come on, Pat, you're tripping mommy up. Now it's time for the pasta. I've turned it off. It's gonna go right straight into the pot. And we're gonna put it right in there. Now we do have the pasta water in case, like, but th there's no sauce to this. It's just the olive oil and all of the herbs and the seasonings from the vegetables, all married together. Here, okay, you found it. It's been kind of hot out, I know. Um, but my favorite thing to do in the morning before it gets really hot and the sun comes up, I have no choice to get up with the sun because Pepe's up really early. I mean, I have to remember he is a farm animal and you know, that's, that's his mojo. So he gets up with the sun and him and I go outside. I make my coffee and I go through the garden. Yesterday I found the terrible worms in there that were just disgusting. And um, you know, it's been a, a great time for me and I've really enjoyed it. And now I get to have a delicious dish like this because of all the hard work we put in. It doesn't take long at all. It's all done. I want to bring this closer to you guys. Here, Pat, but let me, I'm just going to run for a second. I want to get the cheese. We have to put a little bit of grated Parmesan on the top. Everything goes better with cheese. All right. You don't need to follow me over here. Okay. So I'm just going to put, sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top because I had, this is um, Pecorino Romano, which I, I just fell in love with again. I hadn't, ha like, I hadn't really used it all that much in a while, but now I'm like using it on everything and it's so sharp and it just adds a little bit of this salty bite to things. It's delicious. Okay guys, your dish is done. And I want to show, I'm going to show you how beautiful it is. I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to get a, take this out. So we're going to get some pasta and the veggies and they're nice and soft. They're not mushy. You don't want to overcook them. Um, let me see. I want to make sure I get everything in here. We're going to turn this down now. So the good thing about my um, videos is that I have dinner for my son and my husband later. So actually, yeah, my son and my husband, he will be here. So, so there we go. This is our pasta cream. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Uh, hi, Linda. How are you doing? I love to read these from everybody. I'm glad you tuned in. Here's our pasta primavera because like I said, primavera means spring. And we're in the last stages of spring, although in South Carolina, it feels like it's midsummer with the heat. But this is a great dish. And also, you can eat this cold. You can put this in your refrigerator and it'll get thicker. And it'll just have a little bit of that um, olive oil coating on it and the white wine. And you could serve it as a pasta salad at a, at a barbecue or a picnic. Uh, you can eat it for dinner or you can have it as a, a, like a side salad. So try this, try any pasta you want with it. These are so delicious. So I got the cherry tomato and the mushroom. Mmm. He loves it too. All right, guys. Mmm, the wine tastes delicious in it. It's so good, guys. Pasta primavera. Don't. Hi, Joan. I already missed you before. I didn't know if you were on and I was so happy to see you. So I hope you guys go make this pasta primavera today. It's really good. Get out there and get those veggies. 